pleasure and the high honor to introduce as our next speaker a good a, a wonderful friend of social work education, a great scholar and educator and administrator and in his own right, Provost Jonathan R. Cole. Thank you, Ron. It is a great honor and privilege to be here this evening to honor Albert uh, Musher and to celebrate the establishment of the professorship that will bear his and Wilmer Musher's name. There are a few ways in which friends of a university can show their deep knowledge of and appreciation for higher education. One of the most important is through the creation of endowed professorships. These chairs of learning not only honor distinguished scholars and professionals, but they enable schools and universities to solidify their hold on preeminence and true distinction for an extended duration. The Columbia School of Social Work, which is rapidly approaching its centennial birthday, as Ron suggested, the first school of social work in America to reach that honored age, is one of the world's finest schools of its kind. It has a history of true quality in fostering a wonderful balance between professional training, practice, and scholarly distinctions in areas of great social importance. The faculty's work over many decades has helped this nation address major social problems from those associated with juvenile delinquency, poverty, child and family welfare, foster care, aging, and public issues such as the social services related to AIDS prevention. The scholarly work and their practical applications of the faculty of Columbia School of Social Work has helped the nation move beyond anecdote, bias, and presupposition to a focus on problems based on evidence and facts. I know firsthand about the excellence of the work conducted at this school. As some of you may know, I got my start in social research at the school over 35 years ago, working on mobilization for youth, interviewing teenagers on the Lower East Side of Manhattan some of whom were involved in delinquent gangs. The collection of empirical evidence to test theory piqued my curiosity in social problems. The rest, I suppose, is history. Let me say a few words about Albert Musher. He is widely recognized for his signal con contributions as a business executive, inventor, community leader, and philanthropist. Born in San Francisco, Mr. Musher attended George Washington University, the Wharton School, and Johns Hopkins University, where he received his BA in economics. He served as president of numerous business enterprises and is the holder of more than 50 U.S. and foreign patents in the food and pharmaceutical fields. He is well known for his extensive involvement in community service activities over the years recently has contributed to the development of a, ser a series of innovative research programs at the Center for the Study of Social Work Practice, a joint project of the Columbia University School of Social Work and the Jewish Board of Family and Child Services. Establishment of the Wilmer and Alma Musher Chair at the Columbia University School of Social Work represents a landmark development in the history of the school and in the historical development of the social work profession. The Musher Professor and the programs to be conducted under the aegis of its occupant will aim to advance human betterment through the application of scientific principles and findings that can be applied in practice by social workers and allied assisting professionals. It is very typical of Mr. and Mrs. Musher that after a lifetime of dedication to education, community, children, and social concerns, 
the Wilma and Albert Musher Professorship should be established at the Columbia School of Social Work. Mr. Musher's many contributions to the world of science and technology have resulted in a unique viewpoint culminating in his desire to combine technological advances with progress in serving human needs. His altruism, his unquenchable optimism and generosity will greatly speed our efforts to further that goal. Albert Musher, the remarkable individual we are here to honor tonight, is one who recognizes fully the value of evidence and fact in developing practical knowledge. His gift, which will further strengthen an already truly distinguished school of social work, will be valued and appreciated for generations to come. I congratulate him, I congratulate the school, and I thank him on behalf of the university. Thank you. Thank you, Provost Cole. Now it's my pleasure to introduce one of the most distinguished professors at our School of Social Work, who also serves as director of our Center for the Study of Social Work Practice, a good friend and I would even say colleague of Albert Musher, Professor Edward J. Mullen. Thank you, Ron. This evening, we celebrate the Wilma and Albert Musher Chair and Program in a very special way. Family and friends are gathered 